you're planting in the garden today and I wanted to show you how I started my garden uh, from scratch this year. It's about a quarter acre and it didn't take that much work. Um, so basically if you have a bunch of grass and you want to turn it into a garden, um, you can do that over um, the course of the winter with cardboard and mulch, but it takes a, a while and you don't need heavy equipment. But if uh, I didn't do that because I just moved into this place, so I had the farmer help me disc it up and then we uh, tilled it and left it out to dry a little bit, which I don't really like doing, uh, like tilling in general, but it was necessary to get some of the grass out of there um, and to dry it up a bit. So once we tilled, we basically put down these sheets of cardboard. Um, and if you see right here, there's like cardboard and or heavy mulch. Um, and that's basically all I did was lay down this thin cardboard um, and or heavy mulch and then now I'm planting into it with just basically breaking up the cardboard with a trowel and then just planting right into it, um, putting a little compost around it. And uh, you can see there's like no weeds in between. And uh, don't step in the bed. Um, I'll show you uh, a finished product of... Um, not finished product, but larger plants that we planted in the cardboard like a month ago. Uh, if you want to show over here, Ben. This is under row cover because they're brassicas, so they get eaten by flea beetles pretty easily. So you put, if you can, put row cover over um, any brassicas or eggplant that you have. Uh, you basically, I've, I've this whole bed. I've weeded maybe did like an hour of weeding, just kind of you know where where um, they're planted in, just in the holes. But other than that, um, it was really, oh shoot, there's a bunch of, I'm letting a bunch of flea beetles out. I'm actually seeing a bunch of flea beetles here, which is interesting. I did take this cover off today um, to weed it, so maybe they got in, but, but anyway, um, so that's how you can start your bed uh, from scratch, just with the cardboard or heavy mulch, and it will uh, keep the grass down um, if you don't use heavy mulch or cardboard, you see what we have here, which is a garden of grass. Um, so we'll have to come back through, pull this off, you know, it's just pretty light mulch. Pull this off and, and weed stuff like that, but most of it's still pretty good, um, pretty decent. Um, so we'll have to use pretty heavy mulch. And if you do use heavy mulch, um, you want to uh, not put the mulch right up next to the plant because it will compost and burn the seedlings. So you want to leave a little space around it. Get out of there. Um, and then, you know, where to get the mulch. I actually got this for free. It was some spoiled hay. So sometimes farmers will have, like, hay they leave out. Um, you can just check around. And it doesn't have to be straw. It can just be hay or whatever you, you have that will biodegrade. Like, you can use burlap sack, for example. Um, and a good place to get the cardboard is feed stores. So if you just call feed stores, um, they have like a bunch of cardboard that they throw out and there's no tape on it. You don't have to cut it. It's usually four feet by four feet. You can just lay it right down and overlap it by about six inches. Um, you'll make sure to overlap and get the edges mulched in with some hay. So, um, you know, cause that's where the grass gets in is the edges. Um, but yeah, and if you get, if you get cardboard from somewhere else, you do have to take the tape off of it because you don't want to be eating whatever chemicals are in tape. Um, but yeah, that's how to start a, start your garden, plant your seedlings out. Have fun.